Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. We are about to leave room 133 in Amarillo, Texas, and we are moving on to New Mexico for day two of our Route 66 trip. I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling great. Um, that uh, eating contest, the, the 72 ounce steak challenge from yesterday did not sit well on my stomach. I, I will never do that again. It just doesn't make any sense to eat more food than your body can endure. So I'm glad I did it. I, I'm glad I accepted the challenge. I would always, uh, I would always wonder if I could have, if I could have done it. Well, now I don't have to wonder because I tried, and I and I got, I got this T-shirt. So I'm wearing the T-shirt today. Uh, but we are, we're all packed up. We're off. We're about to head west on another rainy day. Uh, and we will see you next in New Mexico. We made it to TP Curios in Tucumcari, New Mexico. So we left a little earlier than I intended and we made much better time than I anticipated. So we are here a lot earlier than I expected. I was gonna have lunch in Tucumcari, but it's way too early for lunch. But for now, let's, let's go check out this place. T.P. Curios, one of the famous spots here in Tucumcari. Maybe we'll find a souvenir. That is a cool front door. Hello. There's something you don't see as often now. Coonskin hats. Looks like they've got some native pottery and and a native person. Not like they have a Brian, but it's always spelled with a with an I. Oh wait, no. Oh here we go. Here we go. Yeah. One more coffee. See, this is kind of the coffee mug that I would look for is a one that's specific to where we are. So there's a Tucum Carry. These would make great dreadnought motorcycles. We just finished up at TP Curios and we're about to head out on the next leg of our journey. We did get a few souvenirs. I got a coffee mug uh, and a few other things. So uh, yeah, it's time, time to roll. Stopped off at the Flying Sea Ranch for some gas and just to take a minute to rest for a second. So I'm getting gas now. I guess we'll go inside for a few minutes. There's a Homeland Security truck. There's something you don't see every day.
Okay, I need to hear the truth from the medicine man, so let's, uh, there we go. I didn't take it, come on. Come on. Listen this saying, it be trusted. When you born, you cry and world rejoice. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. Live days as if they were your last. One day they will be. In other words, great medicine man say, have fun. Live life so when you die, world cry and you rejoice. Mm. So the medicine man has spoken. And, uh, there's the wisdom. We made it to Santa Fe, New Mexico, to Meow Wolf. We are at Meow Wolf right now. This is one of the highlights of our trip. Uh, we've been planning this for a long time. It's one place that Audrey really wanted to go, and I've been really excited about seeing it too. Um, due to the timing, uh, it just made sense to come to Santa Fe first before going to Albuquerque. Our hotel is in Albuquerque, so uh, we'll be heading there after we are done here. Uh, this, of course, is not on Route 66. We have hopped off of the Mother Road from time to time uh, on this trip uh, just for necessity. And this is one of those times, but um, even though it's about an hour north of Albuquerque, uh, this is really going to be worth it. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, Meow Wolf is an artistic interactive experience, um, and it should be a lot of fun. I've, I've seen a lot about it, I've heard a lot about it, and I'm really jazzed about actually being able to see it for ourselves. So. Uh, we still have a little bit of time to kill. Uh, we drove around Santa Fe for a little while, and I really enjoyed driving around Santa Fe. Santa Fe is uh, a city with style. It has style, and I like it. It's a cool place. Uh, so uh, we're going to uh, hang out here for just a few more minutes, and then we will go in and check out Meow Wolf in Santa Fe. Here is the giant robot that looms over the parking lot, smelling his flower. And uh, the robot has a radio station. So yeah, this is cool. Uh, so even outside they have some sculptures and they've got some more over there. I think we we'll, might uh, wander over there as well. Looks like they have a spider and a wolf. There it is, we're a little early, but we will be going in there momentarily. But first we're gonna check out these. They've got some sculpture installations out here. They've got a, a giant spider. You must not climb on it though. And they've got this wolf here. Let's see if we can get a better, better angle on this guy. They give you something to look at even when you're in the parking lot before you're even in the building. I wonder what they keep in the foot lockers. Because they're foot lockers, you get it? Foot lockers! We got, got some tokens, and I am putting you in charge of the tokens. Hello, and welcome to our home. My name is Charter Agent Number 35. If this is found before my sisters and I can stop the apocalypse, there are a few things you must know. We can, I guess, kind of start anywhere we want. Hey, what's in the mailbox? There is a storyline 
We may not necessarily follow the storyline, but... But there's uh, some information if you want to. Hello. Howdy. Okay. Again, if you want to follow the storyline, you don't have to. Books, if you want to sit down and read something. Alright, let's go deeper in. Everyone you've ever crossed paths with from the day you were born to today, this moment. You, uh, you want to go in the fireplace? All right, I've, I've come through the fireplace. There's a, there's a whatever that is. I think that old guy is a non-playable character. Hey Audrey, you want to go through the refrigerator? Yeah, go for it. It's like a, it's a tree house. I know. Here we go. We found the arcade. They've got the famous Street Fighter 2. All right, I got, I got a token out of that uh, for a dollar. And I'm, I'm going. I, I need to know. I need to know my fortune. So let's. Uh... Someone very close to you is planning a vacation with a trash bowl number of goals. What's worse is that many of their goals are based on memories of places which now no longer exist. Perhaps it's time to check in with your friends. All right. Thank goodness I got my fortune. Nothing weird about that. I found the Pink Ranger. Alright, and 
here is a totally new area that we have not seen yet. A little bit more open space here. Like a, a lighthouse. Yeah, they have a stage. You want to get up there and do a little song and dance number? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Hey, buddy. Uh, how you doing? It's a, it's a mouse. I am feeling exactly the way I thought I would be feeling here, which is overwhelmed. There is so much everywhere you look. Yeah, it's nice to see a friendly face. I think, I think they have a little water damage there. Okay, look, it's the future of the Republican Party. You are okay. Please proceed. Not so Hey there, fella. How you doing? Nothing. This is how we're going to teach you how to drive. You figure this out and you can get your driver's license. You know, your basic uh, car instrument panel, steering wheel. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! That's it. That was Meow Wolf. What did you think of it? Fun. What? Fun. Fun.
fun. I, I thought it was a little exhausting, but extremely creative. I would come back. I feel like you could come back a lot of times and still see new stuff. So yeah, that was cool. Worth it? Yeah. Worth it. We are at the hotel in Albuquerque uh, and I am tired. That is the end of day two. I, don't, I told you guys that I would try to do a live stream each night, but I have been so exhausted I can't even think about it. Now I've got to edit the video and that's going to take a while. Um, Meow Wolf was awesome. Uh, there's no way I could show you all of it. There's just too much. But hopefully you guys got an idea. But uh, yeah, we're staying the night in Albuquerque. Tomorrow we're heading out again. We're going to head back east and hit a few locations along the way. So thanks for going with us and we will see you tomorrow.